Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing. Well, actually, we're done with MathFab. We beat MathFab 3 yesterday. We went through all uh, the submissions and had a great old time. And, you know, we're, we're, I mean, we're, we're just done. But we are not done with Immortal Blessings final chapter, though. As once we cleared the winning gate, this planetoid shattered, and a little space platform opened up here. Time to- oh yeah, look at that, he's all like, spiky, the hay spimmy. It's full of strangeness and mystery! Uh-huh. That's right. Okay. You wanted this to happen all this time? <laughs> Uh oh Oh no! Not Spimmy! Can't believe we were betrayed. Now he's Spimgrim. <laughs> he's just faces. Okay! All my buttons do what you would expect. I'm gonna write on this though. I'm gonna jump on him to great effect. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, then I kind of fell awkwardly. It's pretty good. All right, so lops. Oh, oh, are these going to be references to attack? Because the gates. I mean, I remember from Tech Dragon. Like that's exactly what the purple orbs did. Even that's funny. Okay, welcome to the end of the world. Look, man. Look. Uh, where's your heat gauge? So I can just fill it up right to the rim and not understand how it works. Oh, this is rabbit zone. Yeah, bunnies. Uh, are you guys gonna heal me? No, here's Boom Boom. All the Boom Booms you could ever want. <laughs> they just kind of destroy each other. It's pretty good. Uh, okay. Right, here we go. Bounce safely on the snoggin. Oh no. <laughs> then of course that's what kills me. Uh, I probably didn't have to jump there. And we just start here straight up. That's fair. Oh wait, that's a stand sandstorm attack. What do I do against it? Like I can't spam a thing to remove it. Uh, okay, then he just kind of blew up, as one does. All right. <laughs> and the purple, the slow bouncing purpleness of the purple is just such an ineffective attack. I kind of love it. Whoa, I just fell through you there. Didn't do what I wanted, and now I'm failing to get up there. Yeah, that's Dr. Bones! Check it out, it's Dr. Bones. Alright, oh, that's the Electrozone boss. Uh, that didn't count as a hit. Like, you just went through me, and it didn't count as me hitting you, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Summon Dragon, I am dead, because they go a lot faster than they do in the real one. Well, like, a lot faster to one another. Yeah, okay. Was I supposed to grab that? I was probably supposed to grab that. Because nothing is falling after it. Yeah, that's everyone's favorite phase. I am so bad at this, like, though. Like, no exaggeration. I, I get hurt in ways that I should not be getting hurt. Constantly. Can I not... So I guess I'm not allowed to stomp on you when you do that move in particular. Okay, like, that's... That's what I have to assume. It's Shadow. Like, I... Like, I feel like I just don't really ever have time to... Like, get my attack on on him. Jump on him. There it worked. Okay, so I can, but why? Am I doing something wrong when he's doing the Electro Stomp, then? This is the attack you want to see, because it's a chance to just hit you a whole lot, and then you throw up a mushroom, which is really good. Yeah, and Break Dragon is here. Okay, well... I thought I could pick up something from his grassy head, but I could not. No, no. This is how you fight Shadow. Five up! Okay. This is like, welcome to my Dunmark Garden. And I was at a rock space to dodge, so I died. 
Hey! I got a thing I can throw up at him. Uh, I would love to have grabbed another one, but I don't trust my ability to jump. Like you, like you are in a... You're in a opportunity to get up there. Yeah. Then Dr. Bone missing. There we go. Oh. So yeah, this, even though he got slow, don't try to jump on him, because every time I've tried, I was hurt instead of the other way around. This weird pause that happens after the POW gets down. Uh, no, I'm, uh, I could do more damage, but I think it's more important for me to live. Spinies. Yeah, and then they get electrified. That's the hothead boss reference. Now is the get five one-ups reference. Yeah! Oh. I mean, that was pretty cool in terms of me getting my damage in, but I did get hurt. Which is less good. This is the attack where you open your mouth and sound effects plays, but nothing really happens. You did it. <laughs> oh jeez, you're looking pretty good now. Oh, I just phased right through you. This is new. We might be at a new phase, because your health is kind of halfway there. Kind of halfway there. Looks pretty much in the middle of me. Alright, well, here's the purple spree. I'm just gonna sit here and grab a nice block. Whoa! That was very sudden, and then I just died anyways. That thing is hard. Like, the angles are weird. Well, that's fun that my mushroom got wasted due to the move he was doing. That's great! Well, now I'm just dead. <sighs> yeah, I feel like I just don't have enough hits. Like... <sighs> everything... <laughs> really? Just kill me on this. No, just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. I want you to kill me. Thank you. Like, if I only have essentially two hits guaranteed, I'm gonna make sure I have them beyond the first attack the boss does. This is like... What? Okay, so the pal does hurt. I... I... Like, look, man. Why are you such a jerk? Just everything is always timed perfectly for things to be bad for me. It's kind of incredible. No, you can't hurt him with this, even though you, there's no reason for you not to be able to. Well, no, wait, I didn't do any- no, just kill me. It's- it's- no, like, like I said, part of this is an endurance run. If I- if I lose health before getting one hit in, restart. Just restart. Just- there's a restart option I need to remember I have. But it's a hits available to you in this fight. So I'm not gonna waste it. I'm not going to waste them.
one pretty much ideal. This too went pretty much ideal. I would have liked to hit her, but getting the mushroom was more important. Sometimes he does that. He just opens his mouth, goes sound sound plays, but nothing comes out. And I wonder if it's on purpose. I don't have a tail to slap. Okay, I didn't take the mushroom. That was probably a mistake. But... I also did a lot of damage. Like, the lobster ring is just such a good source of damage. Feels like a waste not to use it. You are way easier in your original boss to dodge. Alright. You gonna do a big hop? Thank you. Uh, it's an unfortunate timing for him to just summon the purple orbs, but it is what happened. Attacks are a little bit more sudden than others. Well, this is good. There's no, like, surprises. You can hop on your noggin. And then you can make a sound! Hey! <laughs> That's right! Also, I was just kind of lucky with the attacks we chose. Did it- was it every boss represented? I'm trying to think if anyone was unrepresented. There's the Luigi Temple, I don't recall. Maybe. Time to say goodbye. Uh, he tried his best to absolutely destroy me. And honestly, like, he, he, he had it going. He had absolutely destroyed me several times. It's just Mario, you know, he gets to select his timeline. It's kind of unfair that way. But that's the life of a protagonist. <laughs> and then, wow, okay, this is just like the regular credit. Fair enough. All right. Oh, kinda, here we go. Uh, wonderful participant names. <laughs> Emerald, not in, sorry. Uh, I was, okay. Yeah, hub sprite from the messenger. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. This was honestly a pretty good capstone to uh, the end because like, like, like I said, like it was clearly obvious, the boss reused no attacks from, I think it was all the bosses, but some of them I feel like I don't recognize, like, or at least I don't, Recall a thing from them, but maybe I'm just Maybe I'm just bad. I don't know at recognizing basic patterns But I thought that was really cool. Like I thought it was just a really nice touch It's not a big whole thing. It doesn't grab attention away from the contestants. It celebrates them by incorporating them together and that's just neat like that's just cool and it's paying attention and I liked it a lot. Thank you for putting everything together, Emerald. Thank you for participating, everyone. This was honestly a grand old time, and it was a great re-re-re-introduction to Smebex. Uh, next project on this time zone is we are going to be returning to Smebex. Then a debug thing that is empty that you can't see just showed up. It doesn't even have yes or no. Or okay or whatever. <laughs> it was just like blank debug with the blank header and like two buttons that were both blank. It's pretty good. <laughs> Never expected to be beaten. So yeah, after the intermission, we're going right back to Smebex, except... 
Oh, from what I heard, we're in for a trip. 